26 inches of Van Hook Gold, baby. What's up, fisher people? I made it. I'm at the Van Hook arm. I dropped my line down for five seconds and I got a nice eyeball on already. Bottom bouncer, half crawler, little prop blade. This is a good fish. This is fun. Nice eye. Ooh! Ballsy boat flip, kind of a chubby. Not super long fish, but good representation of the Sakakawi eaters. A little over 15. Fat, strong, healthy. Here we are. We're gonna fish. My clients have been slamming these eyes for a few weeks, and now it's my turn. So get ready. Currently, right now, I'm using this little green prop blade and just a single hook, which is a little bent now. I'm gonna have to replace that pretty soon. But I caught one fish and uh, a single chunk of crawler. Hook her on there two, maybe three times, and let the tail hang off. And it's irresistible. Absolutely irresistible. Fish have been hanging out mostly like uh, 15 to 18 feet up here yet. Especially in the morning or if the wind's blowing. And we've been moving about 0.8 to maybe one mile an hour, not too terrible fast. And it's putting fish in the boat. And we're gonna try to get a few more. We got number two. Feels like it might be a little bigger than number one. Time will tell. The camera will see. Spunky sucker, that's for sure. I think I might boat flip him as well. Another ballsy boat flip, it's a decent fish. Probably a 17 incher. How does that look against the old sun backdrop? Yeah, the sun's kind of over there. It's in my face. It's in my face. See ya, buddy. That's a walleye. That's a pretty good one. That's a heavy fish. Oh, mama. Be a wally. I don't know. Might be smallmouth. Oh, this is heavy. This is a nice one. Now I'm starting to think it is a walleye. Better get the camera down here. Hopefully she stays on there. Hopefully. Hopefully she stays on. I haven't seen anything yet. Position. It's acting like a walleye. It's acting a lot like a big walleye. Yep. Nice. Off oh, right in the boat. There we go. Nice fish. Nice fish. That is about your 20 inch variety, maybe 21. <laughs> You gotta love that right there. That's the cockawheel walleyes, boys and girls. I love it. I love it. That's a good bite for the third fish of the day. Why don't we send her back on her way? Nice. Let's 
sure is fun when a plan comes together, isn't it? I like that fish a lot. We're biting good right out the gate today, which is awesome. We've got a nice steady northeast breeze pushing into this west shoreline of the Van Hook Arm. Fishing some gravel rocky shoreline stuff and a little bit of island and sunken highland hump stuff. And it's all good and they're hungry. Most of the fish that I'm marking, they're biting. That's when life is good. You mark a fish, you catch a fish. You can find them, you can catch them. Oh, here we go. It doesn't feel like a big fish, but it's biting. I don't know if it'll come back or not. Just wrapped it. A little walleye may be a big perch. Yeah, might have lost my crawler. I should... Oh, it's coming back. <laughs> it stayed on. It stayed on. Just kind of leaned into it a little bit. Ugh. Look at that. Fish number four in uh, 15 minutes or so, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. It's so nice to be back here doing another video. It's been, I haven't actually filmed in Van Hook since Memorial Day. You may have seen that video with my dad and my brother. That uh, good old Randy from Rippin' Lips Adventures filmed for us. That was a cool day. Oh, here's a bite. Oh, right out of his mouth. That was not a big fish. Shoot. He left the crawler there for me though. I'll drop it right back down and get another one hopefully. Ooh, big marks down there. Oh, not a fish. Oh, I hope I saw my crawler. Coming through a lot of snags, but there's a lot of fish down there too. Come on. Snag. Oh, look at all the fish. So many fish. There he is. Got him. Got him. Not a big one. That was a good bite and a good hook set. Fish. There's another one. Feels like another good one. Yeah. That's another gooder. <laughs> gooder. Watching too much Clayton Schick lately. It's a good fish though. Come on. Is it a bass? It's a white bass. White bass are feisty, that's why. White bass are feisty. There's white bass in Sakakawea. We haven't caught a lot of them this year. It's been a little weird. Last year, there's just tons of these things around. This area that I'm trolling to is just loaded with old cottonwood trees that were here when the water was super low. They grew up and then the water came up and they got flooded again. But there's a lot of fish that sit in there. It can be a pain to get into some snags, but actually they're getting to the point where they're kind of soft enough. So a lot of times I just, if I get a snag, I just kind of put my thumb on the spool and pull through it. And quite often the tree will break before your line does. If it doesn't, yeah, no big deal. I just keep moseying on through and tie another rig on rather than turn around and trying to get them all off. Hmm. Not quite the size I was after. There's a little better fish than the last couple anyway. Not huge, but another edible specimen. If one was so inclined today. Good bite, good fight. 
There he is, ready to go back in the water. There's another mark down there. Can I get another one already? Two more marks. They look a little tinier, but if they bite, I'll catch them. Give him a few seconds. Sure, why not? What else are we gonna do? Fish and make a video. Oh. Oh! Those little rascals love to do this. So don't be, don't feel bad if you miss a lot of fish because they just take off and run with the tail and you have no choice but to set the hook. And a lot of times you miss them. I'm starting to lose my wind already, which is a bit unfortunate. That wasn't in the forecast. It's supposed to blow six mile an hour in the morning and build to eight or nine and I don't know, it's just dying. So we'll see if that kills the bite or not, but just missed a couple little ones while we were off camera. That's okay. Hopefully get some big ones coming yet and uh, we'll see how it goes. Or I'll just get this one over here, even though he's not big, because he is a perch. <laughs> I put another rod out when I calm down with the uh, the old silver Max Smile Blade, which I really dig out here too. And so far, it's only gotten a perch, but the day's young. There he is. Gotcha. Gotcha, buddy. I wanted to replace that nasty hook. So I switched to a different one that happens to have a harness on it. The old double hook instead of the single, that's just what I had and that's what I grabbed. And that's how we caught him. Maybe the extra hook helped. He keeps biting and letting go. This is another thing that happens when it gets calm fish are to get finicky. So grab it, let go. Grab it, let go. And I don't know if he's going to stick with it or not. I'm not interested in playing games. I'm just not. Take it or leave it. He left it. Crawler's still intact. Sometimes you just need a snack break to catch a fish. That can help or you just get boats in the area. They like that too. Go watch me catch this fish and show it off the camera. There we got another fish on. I'm just setting up to go do something else. I moved to the front of the boat and he just freaking clocked it. suspect it's a decent one. We'll net him just for posterity's sake. Since we've lost a few recently. I don't want to continue that trend. So I have a deal with hooks in the net, but at least we got fish safely in the boat. That's nice. He was hooked really well though. He wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't going anywhere, but here, that little guy. This feels decent. Sell a boat flipper. Make him look a little bigger, huh? Look how huge he is. Spoosh! Got another one on here. Respectable. Eyeball, not there, in the boat. No lack of numbers out here. You can catch fish. Again, the wind helps get a little bigger fish. There's another fish. Feisty sucker. That guy right there. Just another run of the mill eater size. 
We do need to find some bigger ones. Got another fish on there. Another cookie cutter. We either got to get some wind or we got to change patterns. Another fish on. Similar results. Changed tactics a little bit. Went to a deep extended point off the shore. Marked some fish down there. But I don't think he's any bigger. <laughs> Just another little guy. Oh shoot. Well, shoot. We'll see if there's anything else down there. This is as quick as I can get it down there. I got another one. Yeah. You can go shallow, you can go deep. You still find huh, fish that puke up smelt. Third fish from down deep on the point here. No, not really. I have an absolute monster fish. <laughs> I had this crankbait pushed out here and it's just been ripping drag for I don't know how long. <sighs> so I'm trolling a crankbait on a bottom monster. Oh my goodness, this is freaking huge. What is this? A big pike maybe? Gotta be a pike. I thought it was a snag at first because it was ripping drag so fast, but it's a freaking fish. Oh my god. I almost ran out of line. I was about ready to start chasing after it. This is an absolute giant. <laughs> it's gotta be a pike. There it goes again. Just See ya. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I gotta chase it. I have to chase this freaking fish. Wow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. What in the world is this? This is gonna be a weird freaking video. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It just freaking ripped. I was chasing after it full speed with the trolling motor. <sighs> and it just completely peeled off all my line and then snapped. I have no idea what that might have been. That was undoubtedly the biggest fish I've ever had <laughs> in my life. <laughs> oh, I have to restring an entire rod now because of that. What could that have been? I could not go fast enough. Holy crap. I guess that was kind of exciting, but geez. Oh, I could not. I should have had the big motoring gear. There's just too much going on. Whatever. <laughs> I just want to know. There's so much line dragging around behind that fish now. It's unreal. He's got a crankbait, a bottom bouncer, and 100 yards of braid line. Whatever. He's gone now. Well, that's the first time in my life I've ever had a fish spool me before. I don't know if that was a massive pike, a massive catfish, a paddlefish for crying out loud. I no freaking clue. But trying to 
turn on the big motor and track him down and reel in. I thought I had a chance to get him for a second because he kind of slowed down. When it first started peeling line, I'm like, that's got to be a snag as fast as peeling line, but it was peeling it straight sideways. It wasn't going behind the boat. So I thought, I can't tell that it's a fish yet, but it's got to be a fish. But that felt like more than that upper 40s pike I had last year. Like, granted, the water was 38 degrees then. So that fish was a lot more docile. This was a big pike right now. It would be a little more amped up in the heat and it could be a big pike. I, <laughs> I just wish I could have gotten it in to see. Oh well. Might have some redemption here. This feels like a heavy fish. Holy cow. It's not the same fish that's pulled my line off, but it's heavy, whatever it is. Jeez. Okay. Wow, this is heavy. Oh, goodness. Oh goodness. Just stripping out drag. If this is a walleye, it's a beast. It's just dragging in and then every once in a while it runs good. I'm imagining it's a big walleye. Still trying to freaking forget the whole weird situation of getting my line totally spooled off by whatever that fish was. My net is on the floor in a precarious situation. This fish does not want to come up. Holy cow. Holy cow. My other lines bobbing around. I don't know if that's a fish or a snag or what's going on. This could be a pig walleye. It could be. Yeah, it is. It's a huge walleye. It's a freaking giant walleye. I saw the tail. Oh boy. Oh boy, stay on. Stay on, girl. Stay on. Stay on. Let me get my net and stay on. Stay on. Stay on there. Oh, that's huge. That's a van hook walleye. That's what we're after. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a pig. That's a pig right there. Holy cow. <laughs> That is a beautiful video fish that I was waiting for. <laughs> well, let me measure that quick. 26 inches. A van hook gold, baby. That is so perfect. Oh, that's such a perfect fish. Let me get back in the water. Let's get her back in the water. That was a weird <laughs> and exhausting day. It's just short of one o'clock actually, so it's not a full day, but 
Oh, I think we're going to have to end it. We're going to end it on a high note. <laughs> a 26 inch walleye. One just over 20 to start the morning. Some mysterious Van Hook monster fish that spooled my entire reel off. And a bunch of eaters and a bunch of action. Um, it was a great day. I'm glad I made it out. I'm glad I finally got a shoot out here. As usual, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Please think about subscribing. And if you want some other stuff, more content, uh, think about getting the book, Fishing for More, because that's available too. For now, I'm going to go home, rest, and just let it sink in. It was a great day on the water and see you next time. By the way, I did get that fish revived. I did get it to go down. Um, thankfully, I only caught it in 19 to 20 feet of water. It took a little while. I was trying to get it on my camera, on my phone. I don't know if I got the release. I don't think I did. I think by the time it took off, I had my phone back in the side of the boat somewhere. But in case you're wondering, it did survive. It did take off. It took off hard, it went all the way down. It should be good, it should be healthy. At least I'm hoping anyway. I wanna keep that fish in the system there for somebody to catch it. So I don't think it's on camera, but the fish is still swimming. All is good, all is well.